Hi Fudgies, and welcome back to Bunches of Lunches Summer Edition. Over the summer, we're sharing lots of fun lunch ideas, but we're also sharing with you where we eat lunch and what kind of activities the kids are up to. So stay tuned. Okay friends, now we hope that so far you're having an awesome summer. Let us know in the comments down below what kind of fun things you've been up to. This week, we were at home all week. We didn't have to go anywhere, but it was over 100 degrees, so we didn't really go too far away from our air conditioning. But we still try to have fun with our lunches. And make sure you stay tuned towards the end for our special themed lunch. Now before we get started, I have some shout outs. This week they're going to eat, create, caffeinate. And our Instagram shout outs go to Allie and Natasha. And as always, before we get started, I would love it if you would hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. And go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you love bunches of lunches. Now let's get started. Hi guys, and welcome to Monday. Today I have a little twist on our traditional PB&J. Today I'm doing a tortilla with a little bit of peanut butter. And then I'm going to take a super ripe banana and I'm going to roll it up inside the tortilla just like this. Then I'm gonna take my serrated knife and very carefully cut this into several pieces, kind of like banana sushi. Sometimes I also do this with Nutella instead of peanut butter. It's really good. To go along with this, I'm also giving the kids some spinach salad with a strawberry poppy seed dressing. And I'm also gonna give them these new sun chips. I love sun chips, but these are the new sweet potato ones. So hopefully the kids will like them, I'm not sure. I'm also giving the kids some yogurt. This is a berry yogurt. And then to drink, I have something very special. I have these magic milk straws, and this is a chocolate flavor. So basically the straw makes the milk into chocolate milk. So of course they're gonna need a cup of milk to go along with this. And that's everything in the lunch today. Let's see how they do. Overall, they really liked these chocolate milk straws. They thought they were really fun. The interesting thing is that the chocolate stays in the straw, it doesn't come out into the milk. Now for today's activity, we're going to play this really fun watermelon smash game. For this game, the players take turns spinning a wheel and it tells them how many times they need to crack the watermelon on top of their head. Now you have the choice between just having some fake seeds fall on your head or you can fill this with a liquid. Yes. Did it crack? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, Kenzie, put it down. Okay, go ahead and spin, Kenzie. Pass! Okay, pass it to Lily. Okay, what did we get? Pass it back to Kenzie. Pass. Okay, oh, pass it to me. Grab it three times. times. Grab it hard. hard. One. Happy Tuesday guys! Today we're going with a Taco Tuesday theme. I gave the kids each three little mini tacos and now I'm giving them a scoop of this corn. This is a Mexican corn I got from Trader Joe's. Hopefully it won't be too spicy. It's roasted with cheese. I just heated this up in the pan and right now I'm going to go ahead and add the cheese. To go along with this I'm also giving the kids some strawberries. And for a special treat today, I'm going to let them try flan for the very first time. Now, I actually really like flan, but I don't know if the kids are going to. We shall see. And of course, flan is like a caramel custard type dessert. Now, of course, since we're doing Taco Tuesday, I'm going to include a very special drink that the kids have never tried. This is called horchata, and it's 
a sort of rice milk drink with cinnamon. Again, I really like horchata, but I don't know if the kids are going to. We shall see. And that's everything in the lunch today. I'm gonna stick a straw in here and then it's ready to go. The corn was a little bit spicy, and they weren't big fans of the flan. It was a little bit of a different texture for them. Especially Lily, she's not really a big fan of eggs. Good afternoon and happy Wednesday. Today we're making lunch at the park. I just threw everything in the picnic basket and I'm assembling it right here. I got these really fun cups at the Dollar Tree, perfect for the 4th of July. We're also having some of these shooting star cookies. I got these at Trader Joe's and they actually have popping candies on them, kind of like Pop Rocks. To go along with this, I'm also giving the kids a drinkable yogurt in the vanilla flavor. We have a croissant sandwich with cheese and ham, some assorted fruit, cantaloupe, honeydew, grapes, pineapple, and watermelon, and of course the cookies, which are already melting because it's so hot today. And for our activity today, we're gonna play at the park, but we're also gonna place our special rock. This is a friendship rock. We're gonna hide it and somebody else will find it and hopefully brighten their day. This was a really good lunch today. Everybody really liked it. And now it's time to place our rock. We wanted to put it in a place where another kid would find it and then re-hide it. And of course, we have time to play at the park as well. Hi guys and a welcome to Thursday. Now we're running low on groceries so today's lunch is going to be at Costco, one of our favorite go-to quick affordable lunches. But today I'm going to get the kids to try something new. Normally we go for pizza and hot dogs. So today the kids are going to share a chicken bake. We also have a hot dog. We have some acai bowl with fruit and granola. And we also have a chicken salad. So they all have some paper plates and some napkins. So I'm just gonna go ahead and divvy this up. They're gonna have a little bit of each. When we have lunch like this at Costco, I can feed the whole family for about $10. It's a really good deal. I think the chicken bakes are really good, but Lily did not wanna eat hers. And Jackson wasn't a big fan of the salad, but everyone enjoyed the fruit. That was really good. After that, we did some shopping at Costco. We needed to get all of the things for Griffin's birthday party this weekend, including a ginormous cake. Happy Friday! Today we have a very special Disney Pixar themed lunch in honor of the new Toy Story Land opening at Disney World. Now unfortunately we can't make it out there ourselves so today we're just going to have a Toy Story party. I'm going to start by giving the kids some of this peach yogurt. It's their favorite. And to make it really fun I'm going to put some Buzz Lightyear Blue sprinkles on top. Just a few. In this other compartment, I'm going to add some sugar snap peas, and I'm going to add this really fun Toy Story ring just to make it cute. I know the kids will like that. I'm also gonna add this really cute alien ring. These are really just for fun. To go with our Buzz Lightyear theme, we're also gonna include some pizza. Of course, I'm thinking of Pizza Planet here. These are just little mini pizzas from Trader Joe's. I just heated them up, they're actually really tasty. In this little container, I'm also gonna give the kids some of these cheddar rockets. I thought the rocket was a perfect snack to go with today's lunch. So I'm just gonna give the kids each a little handful. These are very similar to goldfish crackers, but I personally think they taste a little bit better. And now on to the special dessert for the day. For this, I'm going to use a store-bought Jello cup. There's a strawberry layer, a vanilla layer, and a lime green layer. 
And to make them look like the aliens, I'm going to add three eyeball sprinkles. A stranger from the outside. Oh. Greetings, I am Buzz Lightyear. I come in peace. They sell a dessert that looks just like this at Disneyland. This lunch turned out super cute, and of course next week we're going to do another Disney-themed lunch, so stay tuned for that. The kids were super excited to see this lunch today. It came out really cute, and it was actually really easy to make. Nothing was very difficult at all. It didn't take a lot of time. Now I did go ahead and give Lily a whole pizza today, but she's gonna share some of hers with Griffin. After lunch today, we're gonna to have a Toy Story party. Right now, the kids are watching the grand opening of Toy Story Land, on YouTube, of course. This land looks super fun. I can't wait to go there, someday. Okay, fudgies, let us know in the comments down below, out of all the lunches this week, which one was your favorite? Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Yeah.